Controls in Visual Studio are inserted in order, the order that you used when you inserted these components one after the other. Now if you have a big form, for example, and you have some uh, many fields, for example, uh, about um, when you're collecting uh, some data about someone in a form, sometimes you get disappointed to see that uh, when you click the tab key, the, the cursor doesn't move to, to the control that it was intended to move to. But in, in, in some, sometimes, in some scenarios, you can see that, excuse me for this, you can see that um, it goes to the other, uh, to another field or to another component. Let, let me give you an example in this, in this form, in this project. So if I, if I run this project right now, and uh, as you can know, maybe um, the uh, the uh, the good uh, scenario here is to have the controls go from first name, then to last name, and lastly to age, and then we can press the submit button. But if I click something in here, if I hit the tab key, it goes straight to the age field, which is wrong in this case. So. Um, some people prefer to fix this by moving this up and then moving the other one down and uh, in this way maybe it will work and yes it works in this case but if you have many components if you have many controls this is not the best scenario or this is not the best approach you have to take in order to fix this and this is why and this is where uh, tab order comes handy um, there is a feature in uh, Visual Studio which is called tab order and we will take a look at it first you go to view from the um, toolbar and uh, click the tab order this button when you click it uh, you can see there's a list of um, labels list of orders uh, everything has an, or an order everything has a, um, a number a label uh, this is by default this comes when you first inserted uh, these components for example uh, label 0 was this was the first component then this one then I inserted the button and etc and um, in fact Visual Studio will never know that you mean excuse me again so uh, Visual Studio will never me know you, you meant something about uh, how you want this form to be uh, to perform when you run it so uh, basically you have to uh, left click on each of the controls to set the um, orders yourself so uh, in this case um, keep in mind that labels do not count but they have numbers but they don't count when uh, Windows or the operating system come to the label it simply switch to the next label to the next position of the next control so uh, maybe you have to first set um, from 0 to 2 are for the labels and um, let's start by um, 3, 4, 5, 6 so this is the order now 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 now um, Windows will, 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 not, will, will skip these 3 because they are labels and it will start automatically at position 3 then 4, then 5 and then the submit button when you have finished click view again and make sure you click tab order this button you have to click it again to reset it and uh, now the positions are so, uh, saved in the form if we run this application again you can see that by default this time the cursor is inserted at the first posi position of the first name when I click tab it goes to the second record and then the age and if I hit tab again, I go to, you can see the submit button is selected. But I don't have any controls or any methods defined for this form. So I hope this is useful to you. And uh, please subscribe. There are more um, videos and tips on Visual Studio and other web design and development and animation tutorials. So uh, I hope this helped you and thank you for watching.